We now go on to principle number 13 in our series, The 25 Basic Principles of Jewish Child Rearing, based on the book Our Family, Our Strength. King Solomon, the wisest of men, instructs and guides parents, educators, to steer the child al pi darko, chanoch la na'ar al pi darko, Educate in accordance with his own way. What is the depth of understanding of this profound statement of King Solomon? What he's telling us is that having said what we spoke about on the previous principle, that there is such a concept of a child competing with himself or a person competing with his own strengths, we need to identify these strengths. Sometimes parents have completely unrealistic expectations of the children. Sometimes parents foolishly can compare one child to the other, and how many times can this damaging, destructive statement be said, why aren't you like your little brother? Why aren't you like your big sister? Why, are that, why aren't you like your friends? Why are you so, why? And the child really thinking inside is saying to himself, I'm not like my brother, I'm not like my sister, because I am me. Me is someone different. So it's a very important thing that parents sometimes can actually break a child. They can destroy the child's potential because they are imposing them upon him uh, uh, expectations which are not realistic to his, his abilities. And therefore, what is the challenge of parenting? The challenge of parenting isn't looking around and seeing what everybody else has and I want mine to be that way. The challenge of parenting is to look deeply and get a deep understanding of one's child, of your child, and try and understand wherein lie his strengths. Try and define these strengths. And then when you identify a strength, cultivate it, build it, nurture it. Let him become special in some particular area. And that will be his speciality be it in certain talents. Sometimes there were kids who, it's well-known children who have, are having great difficulty in certain areas of their endeavors, if it's in schoolwork or socially, suddenly find the most fantastic outlet in music, in art, in, in sport, wh wherever it may be. So it's important. Identify wherein lie the child's strengths and then try al darko in accordance with him, with his strength, cultivate them and, and, and guide them and steer them. And it doesn't matter what the traits are. All traits can be channeled in a positive direction. Uh, Chazal tell us that a person can take sometimes traits which seemingly could be very negative. But if they channeled in a proper direction, they can become positive. Um, that's with regard to most traits. There are certain traits that there's no positive elements to them. Anger, um, there, there are certain traits which just don't have any positive outlet at all. But the vast majority of traits can be um, channeled and directed into something positive. And it's not a simple labor. The great Rabbi Israel Salanta of blessed memory used to say that changing one personality trait is, can be a lifetime's labor. It's not easy to change. We mustn't look at our children and think, how am I going to change him? We must look at our children and think, how can I take and understand what strengths of character he has and hone them and cultivate these strengths and channel them in a positive direction? So the child may have a certain aggression. Aggression too can be channeled into something positive. It can, be, it, it, it can become aggressive in his study. So find, identify the traits, help the child identify his traits, build up his self-image. Yes, you've got a fantastic aptitude to do certain things. Let's cultivate them. Let's, let's grow them. You become an expert in that field. And that will give the person a tremendous sense of self-worth and his self-image will grow and he'll function better on all, on all fronts. So the challenge of parents is to educate him in accordance with his own way, not the way of others, not to be like others, to be like me. Mm -hmm.